In this video, let's talk about a term you're likely to hear in any discussions about websites or business systems, CMS. A CMS is a content management system, and they're used for a variety of things. Let's dig in and see what this is all about. Just like it sounds, a content management system is a software that's used to design and manage content on a website. Have you ever heard of someone getting a website built by a developer, but when they want to make a change, like text or pictures, they had to hire a developer again to do it in the code? Well, if that site were built with a CMS in it, the content would have been stored in a system with an easy to use interface, where it would be easily found, published, modified, and reused. A CMS allows a person who is not a programmer or designer to publish or change content quickly. This works because the content goes into predefined templates that maintain the site's design while still taking care of details, like how well the content will be found in web searches. This allows a company to be nimble in adapting to its website's ever-changing needs. The CMS is usually browser-based so that you can work on the site from anywhere from any device with an internet connection. Content management systems just started out as content editors and organizers, for instance, as something to put into a website being built to let people easily edit the blog. But nowadays, a CMS can build entire websites. Ever heard of WordPress? That's a great example of a modern CMS. To appreciate what they do for us, let's look back at how sites were made originally. First, someone who knew HTML really well had to sit down and code the entire content and appearance of the site into documents that would become the web pages. Then the company would have to secure hosting services and tie that web server to where they had their domain hosted. This allows people to connect to the site. Finally, all of the documents would be uploaded to the site where they would be doing lots of testing and fixing, and then finally the site would be live. If you needed to add new content, that had to be coded by the HTML programmer, uploaded, and the changes made throughout the site to connect the new content to the existing pages. Does it sound complicated? It sure was. Now, there are services that let people do the hosting and content management all in one step and from one place. Some of these services even have an interface where you can drag and drop text and media into place on your screen, which it then translates into web code, resulting in something totally custom. Squarespace and Wix are good examples, as they're commonly referred to as WYSIWYG development, because what you see is what you get. However, by far the most popular CMS these days is WordPress. Though it's not as drag and drop friendly as the others, it has grown so much that there are thousands of plugins available that can make your site do anything from basic blogging to advanced user logins and order tracking for web stores. So there we have it. There are various content management systems that design a site and create templates to easily publish content without detailed technical expertise. Keeping this in mind is one way you can reduce or remove the need for engineers if you're only needing a simple web application.